anywhere in the world. This is full grown. They're full grown at about four and a half feet in length at about 100 pounds. Now to put that in perspective, most of you are probably more used to seeing bottlenose dolphins at zoos and aquariums. Bottlenose dolphins are fully grown between eight and 10 feet in length at about four to 600 pounds on average. These dolphins also have that beautiful black and white coloration. It is a type of camouflage. So because their coloring does not match their silhouette, we call that disruptive coloration. It disrupts or breaks up their outline. And that's going to make it harder for both their predators and their prey to see them in the water column. Especially because Congressman dolphins are such a coastal species. So water is going to be a little bit more turbulent, turned up potentially with some sediment and you have all the sunlight coming in through the surface as well and breaking up those lights and shadow for them to hide it. Now I did say predators and prey. Uh, they do hunt small fish, small crustaceans, and cephalopods, but Congressman's dolphins are also small enough to be a prey item specifically for killer whales. Killer whales, as I'm sure you guys know, are the largest member of the dolphin family and the top predator in our world's oceans all across the globe. So Congressman's dolphins are a great size for them. Fortunately, the Congressman's dolphins have a few tricks up their sleeve, so they have that camouflage that we talked about. They also are very good at cornering. They can make very sharp turns, both in the water and in the air mid-jump, and that's going to help them evade the killer whales as well. And then probably their most unique adaptation for hiding from a predator is something we call acoustic crypsis. 